Um, so, yeah, first off, just tell me how you feel about the results tonight. Ah, always disappointing to uh, lose a game, but, um, you know, just one of them games, really. On another night, we could have gone in a half-time, uh, four, four, five, two up, maybe, and um, but didn't fall for us tonight. Their goalkeeper had a really good first half and ultimately kept them in the game, and then... Um, Obviously, their, their goal just before half-time, like 20 seconds before half-time, is always a killer blow to concede a goal at that stage. And uh, But then se second half, they were, they were the better side. And um, But two good teams, you know, we, what we've proved so far from where we were last year, you know, we know we've got no one to fear. Uh, we know we can beat them on, a, on another night. And um, that, you know, sometimes you have a loss, but you get confidence from the loss because even though we weren't great tonight, we still, you know, once, once again, it's taken a really good performance from a goalkeeper to stop us getting points. What were some positives that you did see out in the field? Well, the amount of opportunities we created. Like I said, um, you know, we, we were unlucky not to score four or five in the first half and, and their clear-cut chances, their one-on-ones there. Um, but, you know, and then obviously disappointing any time we concede four goals, especially a team that pride ourselves on the defensive resolve that we've got. And uh, But credit to them, you know, they're, they're a good side. I said at the start of the year, it's going to take a hell of a team to beat them. And when they turn up in the mood that they're in tonight, uh, they're very tough to beat. Um, if they turned up in every game like that, it, they'd run away with the competition comfortably. And uh, I think they were they were really good tonight. They had, they had a couple of really good players. Um, DJ Firth, once he got started controlling the game, particularly in the last 30 minutes, looked like the player that... We all know that he's uh, capable of being, and but now, like I said, they're a good side, two good teams, and we'll we'll both be up there. From any loss, you always learn something. What do you think you learnt most tonight? Oh, I just got to take our opportunities. But um, you know, like I said, uh, they they had an, they had the kind of night tonight where they have five opportunities and score four, where we we create uh, you know eight or nine and score score one, and it just just happens that way sometimes, but. Uh, like I said, we, we can take confidence from the, from the, you know, from how we're travelling at the moment. Um, we, we know every game we go into, we're capable of winning that game, which is always a good mindset to approach a game with. And uh, we know we can beat them. Uh, you know, we proved that a couple of weeks ago when we beat them three 0 uh, at their place. And um, you know, like I said, a long way to go, a lot of football to be played, and there'll be a lot more ups and downs from here. So, um, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Speaking of a lot more football than we play, do you play next week? Uh, we got Nambour away, which uh, be a really difficult game, Nambour away. We, we had a real tough one all draw against them here and uh, they were good value for the draw and unlucky not to win on that night. So um, we know that going down there, uh, good atmosphere down in Nambour, always a always, uh, passionate crowd. So uh, yeah, we look forward to going down there and having a good game and hopefully coming away with the points.